Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to draw the load settlement curve of a pile load test and from that how you can determine the allowable uh, load which we can apply on that pile as per the IS code. Okay, I have been given a data uh, which was obtained in a vertical pile load test on a 300 mm diameter pile. Okay. Uh, we can see the load in kilonewton being applied and the corresponding settlement in the mm we have to plot the load settlement curve and also determine the allowable load as per the is code okay so first we will draw the load settlement curve in excel and after that we will find the allowable uh, load as per the is code okay so uh, you will make uh, two columns in excel the first one will be the load in kilo newton and second one will be the corresponding settlement in mm okay and after that you will uh, select it and then uh, go to the insert okay on that you will go to the charts and uh, select this uh, that is uh, scatter with smooth lines okay then you will increase the size of the chart okay delete this chart title okay and after that you will first select the vertical axis double click on the vertical axis scan okay double click on this vertical axis go to the axis options okay in axis option first you will write uh, select the values in the reverse order okay okay and after that uh, uh, you will uh, change the uh, units units major is 10 and minor is 2 so it's correct okay and uh, you will also uh, change the color of this axis in axis option you will select uh, the tick marks uh, for major type as cross and minor type as inside okay and to make these values visible uh, we can change the color of the line so change it from gray to black and also increase the thickness to 1.5 point you can now see the values okay and similarly for the horizontal axis change the color from gray to black increase the thickness to 1.5 point in the axis option uh, change the uh, uh, units for major is 100 it's correct for minor let it be 20, uh, 10 okay and uh, to make these values visible major type as cross and minor type as inside okay and you can also change the color of this boundary from gray to black and increase its thickness okay and after that you will add the axis titles so add the axis titles horizontal axis is load in kilo newton okay and the vertical axis is settlement in mm okay so also you can change the color for these axes from gray to black and increase the width to 12 points change the font as times new roman similarly for this times new roman size as 12 and color as gray okay for this axis titles Okay, you can modify the uh, chart according to your own need to make it more clearly visible. Okay, so this is our chart uh, and which shows the load settlement curve. Okay, increase the size little bit. Now uh, we have to find the allowable load uh, for this pile and uh, for uh, according to the is code we have two criteria 
to find the allowable load on a single pile okay so according to the is code the allowable load on a single pile shall be lesser of the following the first condition it is 2 by third of the final load at which the total settlement attains a value of 12 mm if nothing is specified then the permissible settlement is 12 mm okay and if any other permissible value is specified then you then the load shall correspond to actual permissible total settlement in our case nothing is specified so we will take the 2 by third of the final load at which the total settlement attains a value of 12 mm okay so this is 10 for vertical axes minor units are in uh, 2 mm so at uh, 12 mm you will draw a horizontal line okay so at 12 mm draw a horizontal line this is 12 mm you will draw a horizontal line it will uh, cut uh, the uh, load settlement curve at some point from that point you will draw a vertical line which will give you the uh, final load at 12 mm okay So approximately we can uh, see it is approximately uh, this is 200, 210, 220, 30, 40. So it's approximately 240 mm. Okay. Uh, this uh, load corresponding to 12 mm uh, settlement is approximately 240 mm. So 2 by third of uh, 240 mm that is equal to 2 by third of 240 mm okay which is equal to 160 kilo newton is the uh, is the one of the allowable load on a pile okay we will check uh, from other condition which is 50 percent of the final load at which the total settlement equals to the 10 percent of the pile diameter in case of uniform diameter piles and 7.5 percent of bulb diameter in case of under rim piles since we have a uniform diameter pile and its diameter is 300 mm so 50 percent of final load at 10 percent of 300 mm which is 30 mm okay so 50 percent of final load at 30 mm settlement so at 30 mm settlement you will again draw a horizontal line okay so at 30 mm settlement second at 30 mm settlement you will draw a horizontal line okay it will cut the load settlement curve at some point okay from that point you will draw a vertical line which will give you the load corresponding to 30 mm settlement okay okay so here the load corresponding to 30 mm settlement is uh, for uh, 20 mm okay 420 mm because uh, minor units on the horizontal axis are in the units of 10 so 400 410 420 so 420 kilonewton is the load corresponding to uh, uh, 30 mm settlement okay so we have to take 50 percent of that load so 0 0.5 50 percent is 0 0.5 multiplied by 420 which will give you the load corresponding to the 50% of final load at which the settlement equals 10% of the pile diameter which here is 210 kN and clearly you can see that uh, out of these two the lesser one is 160 kN so you can say that the allowable load on the pile is 160 kN according to the IS code okay you have to take the true uh, two criteria the first one is the 2 by 3rd of the final load at which the total settlement attains a value of 12 mm 
or uh, if uh, any other permissible settlement is specified and 50% of the final load at which the total settlement equals 10% of the pile diameter in case of uniform diameter piles and 7.5% in case of bulb 7.5% uh, of bulb diameter in case of under reamed piles okay so this is how uh, you can find the allowable load on any pile okay first you have to draw the load settlement curve which you can easily draw in excel after that you have to use the two criteria to find the allowable load on a single pile this is for a single pile okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learned something new if you still have doubts you can write them in the comment box i will try my best to uh, clear your doubts okay and if you found this video helpful please like this video subscribe to my channel okay thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned